First of all, thank you. This has been a very long-awaited return for yeah. a lot of us fans of the first film and the graphic novels. So I have to ask first about the decision to go 3D because it's the best decision in the world. Oh, but I want to know Reginos. how you guys came to it. Well, I, I thought people would really notice the difference between this and other 3D movies because his artwork, and I wanted to do even the first one in 3D because just the year before I shot the very first digital 3D movie, which was Spy Kids 3. But there were only three digital theaters in the country back then. That's how fast things have changed. And um, But I thought it would lend itself really well to 3D because it's such an absence of information. You know, he blacks out a lot of the frame. And it's very concise of what you're looking at. It's not like a lot of 3D movies where there's so much you don't even know where to look. You always know where to look in his movies and in his art. And if you did that in 3D, the 3D would pop even more and give you a very immersive experience. So I was very excited. I, when I first mentioned to him, I, I showed him a sample too. So when I first mentioned it, he goes, 3D, what does that what? mean? And as soon as he saw it, he starts thinking in 3D as an artist and drawing out in 3D and planning yeah. and plotting. Once he knew it was like layers of information that you could give somebody. Well, I think, and it's such a testament to your work because the first film, we really felt like we were in those graphic novels, which was so much fun. But this film, you're in the graphic novel. Like, you're a part of this movie now. It's no longer just watching, which was so much fun. Um, I, I also loved that you guys also decided to bring in some new stories. Because if we've read the graphic novels, we know what we're going to yeah. come to expect because you guys stay so true to them. But you also brought us these really fun, exciting yeah. news story as well. Well, and they, 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 they came from different different sources. Um, uh, one was, um, I, I knew there was going to be more to Nancy's story than, you know, than, than, um, than John Hardigan blowing his brains out. You know, after being an abused child and then an exotic dancer and then falling in love and losing the man to a suicide, there had to be a, a further, you know, further development. And, and so I plotted out her on what seemed like a very self-destructive suicide course, um, and and uh, from which she emerges as the avenging angel she was born to be, um, even though she's got a few nicks on her face, <laughs> um, and 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 uh, um, you know and, and Robert loved that one, and, and and then he said, well, what else you got? And I told him about this sort of idea of a beginning of a story that I had in mind about. Like um, a, a, a cocky gambler kid with a, with a coin that he couldn't lose with, and and uh, and how he was out for revenge, but he picked the wrong guy and he was in for a long bad night. And uh, Robert said, "Great, write it." And he was like, "Oh hell!" <laughs> <laughs> All I gave was a premise. <laughs> Do it. Good well, thank you guys it. so much because your work together is amazing, and thank you for giving us female comic and and graphic novel fans a, a nice wounded female hero to look up to. So thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.